Hello there! The Star Wars movies have had many great movie moments. For example, when Greedo meets Han at the cantina. Or how about at Cloud City, when Luke Skywalker and Darth Vader duel till the death. During the years of 2017 and 2018, Funko picked several of these moments to immortalize in pop sets. Welcome to Unboxing the Boxes, my Star Wars collection. This is episode 55, the Funko Pop Star Wars Movie Moments. I enjoyed hunting for the movie moment sets for my collection, but it was also a bit of a challenge since many of these sets were exclusives. Four were generally sold in all stores. Four were Walmart exclusives. Two were only available through the Smuggler's Bounty. And one was an exclusive to Walgreens. I have a feeling you're going to like these sets. If you like Funko Pop, that is. Let's start with the oldest and work our way to the latest. I think first I'll get them out of these box. While I do that, why don't you quickly subscribe to this channel so that you don't miss any videos and hit that notifications bell so that you're notified when there's new videos. Okay? Okay, the first set is number 222, The Escape Pod Landing. This one happens to feature C-3PO and R2-D2 as they land on Tatooine. Now, one thing you're going to notice right away is this is Funko Pop. This is not all scaled to be the same throughout the whole figures. For example, in this particular one, the shuttle is quite a bit smaller than the two droids, which would, of course, never fit in it. Maybe that is to give a forced perspective look on things. Or maybe not. Um, this one I'm going to just open up a little bit just so that you can see what it looks like. As you can see, the box is actually done very well. You can very well see the figure. On the back, it even gives you a preview of what the other ones in this set look like. This first batch of them, there was actually five different sets of figures. Now, with the C-3PO and R2-D2, you can see a lot better now what it looks like. Yeah, this is weird, isn't it? I usually don't unbox the individual boxes of this stuff. But this one I thought would be kind of fun. I'm not going to do this with all of them. But there you can see R2-D2 and C-3PO in all their glory. You can see the, uh, the escape pod there. Like I said, it is not very, uh, very big. It's pretty small, actually. You wouldn't even get R2-D2 in it. But in this case, both of them have bobbleheads, both R2-D2 and C-3PO. Um, I think it's actually a very nice figure. It's not too bad. The uh, base is big enough where you can set it down and you don't have to worry about it flopping around or anything. I do like some of the details they put on, and I don't know if you can see this on film, but there are even footprints there from C-3PO walking away from the escape pod. And of course, little roller marks for R2-D2. That is the first one of these sets, the Escape from the Escape Pod Landing, featuring C-3PO and R2-D2. One other thing I thought I would just point out with these figures is that inside is a little background field that you could actually take out and set behind your figures when you put them on display. Kind of a neat little feature. Just that little something extra that Funko Pop decided to do with these figures. The next one is number 223. And this one would be the Cantina Face-Off. Yes, and this is one reason I pointed out at the beginning of this video about Han and Greedo meeting at the Cantina. Because there was a figure. <laughs> This one features a nice bobblehead of both 
Han Solo and Greedo sitting by the table in the cantina, looking around, seeing what's going on. Of course, Greedo is threatening Han Solo. He's got his blaster out there waiting to shoot, and Han Solo's got his blaster out too. Who will shoot first? Depends on which version of the movie you watch, I guess. So there again, on the back of the box, you do see that we do have the different ones that are available in this particular series. Nice set again. Number 223, Cantina Face-Off. And also, as you can see, this was a Walmart exclusive as the previous one was. Like I said, there was about four of these that were Walmart exclusives. Let's find out what the next one is. The next one is number 224, Trash Compactor Escape. This one happens to feature Luke Skywalker and Princess Leia in the trash compactor. Uh, you can see some of the trash laying around there. Luke's got his gun drawn to battle anything that comes at him. And you can even see that Aigna, or that little creature that's in the trash compactor, already has got his eye out and looking at Luke. Aha, there's a good meal there. Princess Leia, of course, has the, uh, the long staff or rod or whatever it is that she found to uh, try to keep the walls from closing in on them. Of course, that didn't work very well in the, th in the movie. But there we have it, the Trash Compactor Escape, number 224, another Walmart exclusive. Number 225, we're getting toward the end of the movie here, of the first movie. What I consider the first movie, Star Wars, A New Hope to most of you. This is number 225, the Death Star duel between Darth Vader and Obi-Wan Kenobi. You can see uh, this one's a little more plain. Just has the two figures battling their lightsabers against each other on the Death Star. Uh, it's kind of nice in the back there. They do have a Death Star background to give uh, a little more of that movie moment look. To the figures but again another nice set this one once again was only available at walmart so these first four figures you could only get at walmart you had to go there to get them what's next on the line well you had to go to walgreens for this one and this one happens to be from the empire strikes back the cloud city duel featuring darth vader and luke skywalker toward the end of their duel just before Luke, spoiler alert, gets his hand cut off. Uh, here they are on the, the balcony, if you want to call it that. Uh, very nicely done again. It's a very nice little set there that they have for the two figures to stand on. And once again, we do have a nice background featuring the walls of Cloud City, or of the shaft of Cloud City. So, very well done figure. I kind of like this one. But there are more to look at. What could be next? Well, for the next one, we're going to leave the original trilogy behind and go for the new sequel films. This one happens to be number 257, Rematch on the Supremacy. And this one happens to feature Finn and Captain Phasma during their big battle, which I'm not going to tell you how it goes because we're still too close to the movie. I don't want to spoil it for anyone. But... One of them doesn't win the battle. Let's put it that way. So we have Finn and Captain Phasma. Uh, you can see there's a lot of junk laying around them as they're battling. That's because the Supremacy was having problems at the moment. It was kind of being destroyed. You can also see that Captain Phasma has some damage to her helmet in this particular one. So there again, nice little details. Nice background showing the Supremacy as it is starting to fall apart, get damaged, so forth and so on. On the back of this one, a little bit different because on this one, we're just showing some of the regular Funko Pop figures. So, where do we go next? Well, we're still in the prequels. The next one is number 264, The Clash on the Supremacy. And this one happens to feature Ray and one of Snoke's guards during that climatic battle when Rey and uh, Kylo Ren are fighting for their lives. 
Uh, here again, nice little figure, nicely done. We have a captured battle scene with just a red background because that's basically all there was in that one. They, they really went all out on background for this particular scene in the movie. We have Ray and the guard with their weapons clashing against each other. We've got that little spark of energy flowing where the two pieces come together. So there again, nicely done. Like I said, uh, the background is pretty plain, just red. Pretty easy one for Funko to put together on this one. And of course, if you're going to have Ray battling one of the guards from that scene, well, of course, you better have Kylo Ren also fighting for his life battling in that scene. Correct? This one happens to be number 265, also called Clash on the Supremacy. So these two actually go together pretty well. And like I said, this one features Kylo Ren battling one of the guards. And there again, we see their weapons hitting each other with a little bit of spark of energy flashing between them. Just the red background once again. And if you actually do put these two together, you can see you can have Rey and Kylo back to back fighting the guards just like they did in the movie. So kind of a nice little touch there. They didn't put Rey and Kylo on the same side with the guards on the same side. Nope, they kept it so you could keep a little bit more of the movie look to it if you take them out of the box, of course, and display them on your shelf. So there we have it, 264 and 265, Clash on the Supremacy. We're not done yet, though. For the next one, we are going back to The Empire Strikes Back with Boba Gets His Bounty. Say that four times real fast. Boba Gets His Bounty. Boba Gets His Bounty. Now we're not going to do it here. This is number 280. And this one, we only got one real bobblehead on this one. We've got Boba with Han Solo and Carbonite. Uh, it does not look like Han Solo is a bobblehead. However, Boba Fett is. So there again, we've got a nice background showing Darth Vader. Uh, and I do like that. Darth Vader is shown as a Funko Pop Darth Vader. Silhouetted there in the background. So again... Nice job capturing one of the movie moments from The Empire Strikes Back. This happens to be the ninth of these figures. We've got a couple more to go yet. By the way, in case you didn't notice, this one happened to be a Smuggler's Bounty exclusive. You cannot just buy that one in the stores, per se. The next one also is a... Smuggler's Bounty exclusive, and this is number 284, the Dagobah Face-Off. So once again, only one real bobblehead in this one, Luke Skywalker, and then the head of Darth Vader with Luke Skywalker's face in it from The Empire Strikes Back. There again, nicely done. We have a background from Dagobah, and you can obviously tell he's in the cave, and I even like that the little lizard thing is in the corner there by Luke. So nice job, nicely done, nice addition to the set. We have one more to look at, and this one was just, I think, a general sale. Number 294, The Encounter on Endor. Yeah, it looks like C-3PO gets a return. He was in the first one, he's in the last one. And this time, we have C-3PO and one of the Ewoks. C-3PO is, of course, sitting in his chair because he is the god of the Ewoks, at least momentarily. And, of course, the Ewok is the wise man Ewok, who, really, when you think of it, wasn't all that wise to mistake a droid for a god. But anyway, it made for a good, interesting scene in the movie. And there again, you can see that uh, we have uh, Endor as the background. Uh, I do like the staff of the Ewok. Got some nice detail there. Nice detailing on the fur and the helmet. So yes, that is, once again, a very nice movie moments scene done by Funko. So what do you think of these? I kind of like them. They're, they not only give you the figure, but they give you a scene from the movie with the background to kind of make it look even better. This would probably look really good if I put them on a shelf with the backgrounds around them. You could immediately think of what the scene was in the movie just by looking at these and fill in all the blanks yourself. So there we have it, the 11 movie moments that I've been able to find. I don't know if they came out with any more of these, 
Um, I know they came out with more sets and so forth, but I don't know if they came out with any more movie moment sets. So what do you think? Leave a comment. Let me know which was your favorite or maybe which was your least favorite. Tell you what, leave a comment and tell me both which was your favorite and which was your least favorite. Other than that, make sure you subscribe, hit that notifications bell so that you're notified when new videos come out. And until next time, may the force be with you and keep collecting.